Hello, hello, hi everybody. Welcome to my channel. I cannot believe I'm even saying those words. My name is Kennedy, Kennedy Maya, Kennedy Maya Rose, whatever you wanna call me. Um, I have been wanting to do this for a very long time. I let fear stop me for the longest, but we're not doing that anymore. Faith over fear over here. Um, so here I am, welcome, welcome to my life, welcome to my world. This channel is gonna be all about beauty, business and lifestyle as some of you know i am a law student i also own my own business thornless rose media which is all things public relations graphic design and communications um and now i guess i can add youtubers to my list so i'm very excited to be here um as you can see i'm here during my favorite season christmas um winter as a whole not only because my birthday is in a month but I just love this time of year. It's family, friends, food, fun, giving, receiving, and just love all around. Um, I am known to be a great gift giver, or I just, I don't know, great gift ideas, because, you know, my pocket's not that fat yet, so I give people ideas to get the good gifts for the people, and then, you know, I just get a little card or something. So, um, so I thought I'd share a video of some good gifts um suggestions and also get you guys help because i have a few people on my list this year who have me stumped which is not common so i hope you guys enjoy this video stay tuned okay y'all so first things first you have to have to have to get your own custom wrapping paper bag design something that stands out for you i do this every year it's very inexpensive to do Pick out a wrapping paper, pick out a theme. You can do all pink, you can do all red, you can do stripes. Um, but just pick out something that says you so when the person gets the gift, they automatically know this is from Kennedy. Um, so this is my theme this year. It is a, a pink cheetah print. It is so beautiful. I added in a little silver bow, um, as you can see. That's my thing. I do pink, gold, and silver. Um, yeah, so that is my first gift guide, gift tip, is to always make sure you have your own swag. Um, for the men, because this is not men friendly, uh, male friendly, I purchased just this little plain um, silver, there we go. Just this plain little silver. Uh, it's gonna match well with the, look at these two together. Um, that's gonna be so cute. Um, so just, you know, get you, get you a little swag, get you a little style. Something really simple, really easy. A color scheme, or maybe you do stripes, but you can do any color stripes. Just something that says you. Um, another cool tip or trick that um, I do not do, but my grandma has done all my life. She uses numbers instead of names on all of her presents and she keeps like a legend key of whose name is associated with what number. And I just remember as a child growing up, it was kind of fun, it was a fun game. Um, no one knew whose number was for who. And you would kind of go like, oh, I wanted a scooter for Christmas. This is shaped like a scooter, um, so this must be my number. But um, it's just a little fun game for the kids to play and also stops them from, you know, I know all kids do this, counting how many gifts they got, trying to figure out, you know, what they got. Um, so you could just put a number or do a shape, but whatever, just do some type of key um, so that they won't know whose gift is for who. I always love that and I plan to do that with my own kids and my own family when I do have one. Um, so let's get started with the gifts and the gift ideas. This one right here, it is for my little cousin Madison. She is six or seven, me? Yes, yeah, six or seven. No, she's younger than that. I don't know. <laughs> so, she's somewhere around there. Um, and this is, she always gets the first gift. I don't know why. Um, I just shop for her really easily. I pick things up for her throughout the year. This right here is the cutest thing. It is a unicorn ring light. I'm probably, I'm gonna pop a picture right here. Um, she loves YouTube. She thinks she's a YouTuber. She wants to be a YouTuber. 
Um, so I got her this ring light. Her mom's probably gonna kill me, but now she's gonna make all the YouTube videos and TikToks that she can. Um, so I think that would be a very cute gift for a little girl. Um, for her birthday, I got her some makeup. That was the cutest thing. Of course, it was washable. Um, it was kid friendly. Um, I will put a picture of her coming home from school with the makeup after we told her it was not for school. Um, and then I'm gonna probably get her like a little unicorn bag um, just for her to carry her little makeup, her little stuff around. She's a girly girl. I love it. Her mom played sports. So she's all me and um, I feed her girly insight. While we're on kids, my god child Cannon Michael, who is seven. Okay, the wrapping paper has glitter everywhere. Ignore that. I don't know anything. When I ask him what he wants, I don't, I, he's speaking another language. I don't know anything about Minecraft. Um, when I try to look for a Nerf gun for him, they all look the same to me. So, I am kind of stuck for Cannon. Um, his birthday was recently in October and I got him Black Panther pajamas. That was terrible, it was the worst, but he loves Black Panther, it, I was, you know, in school it was on short notice, but so I gotta go harder for Christmas and I just don't know what to get him. So comment below um, ideas for a young, you know, little boy. He likes, I don't know, Minecraft, Nerf guns, sometimes superheroes. I don't, that's really all he gave me to work with. So I'm having a little bit of trouble there. Um, so let's continue on. Next thing I have here is a Turvis, Turvis coffee mug, Chicago Bears for my dad. And I just got him this cute Chicago Bears coffee mug. It's the Turvis brand, which is a really good brand. Um, but with this, I will say, find out the male sports team, doesn't matter, NBA, NFL, MLB, whatever. Um, find out their sports team and their, you the options are endless. Um, but what I will tell you is I love a good gag gift. Um, you always get a real gift with that. But last year or the year before last, I got my dad this toilet paper roll off of Etsy. Um, I'm gonna put a picture of it here and link it below because it was a hit. And the toilet paper roll said, in case the bears play like poop. And um, it was so, it was just a hit. He has it, he still has it, um, where he keeps all of his uh, sports, you know, items. And um, I just think that that was so cute, so funny. But anything, anything sports, um, find their team and find something that they would like. Um, and that works. So, staying on topic with my dad, I got him the ultimate sneaker book. Um, that was so cheesy, the ultimate. But seriously though, this gift is going to be a hit. He's going to love this. Um, for your mans, for your brothers, for your fathers, this would be the perfect gift. It's really not that expensive. It's a, it's a quality book, it's really heavy. Um, literally got it off Amazon, but it's found a lot of places. I will link it. Um, but the sneaker, the ultimate sneaker book, it goes through sneaker releases throughout the years. Let's see what we can find. You know, and it tells a little story about the design of the shoe and whatnot. So I think this would be a great gift for men. Um, it may not work if the man doesn't read but honestly I don't think it matters honestly I don't it's also a great um if your boyfriend or brother or whatever has his own place I think this is a great um coffee table coffee stand book um decor book as well so this is a hit it lists all the designers and brands I guess you would call them on here um men but women too actually that's where I got the idea from um, my cousin Jalen who works for Nike she's a boss um, she got one of these for her birthday and she was in love and that's actually where I got the idea from so the ultimate sneaker book there are a few other sneaker books um, 
when you search up and they have good reviews but this is the one I've heard the most about um so this and the coffee mug for my dad um I probably will get him one more thing maybe just a, a Nike shirt or something a golf shirt or something um but that's where I am with him so on to the next while I am talking about parents I will go to my mom so I'm really excited because I just got the notification that her Telfar bag will be in. For those of you who don't know, Telfar is a um, new brand, black owned brand that has come out recently, um, or I don't know, maybe it's just becoming lower, like known recently, um, but it is black owned, it's a luxury brand, um, and it's affordable. And I participated in this campaign I guess you would call it that they had where on this one special day you picked any Telfar bag you wanted any amount any color any size um, and it was made to order for you um, because they kept selling out so fast when they would do releases so I ordered her and I both medium pink ones I'll pop a picture right here for those of you who don't know um, and I didn't read the fine print Apparently, when you order through that campaign, you don't get your bag until <laughs> like late December, early January. Um, that was the timeline that they put for everyone who ordered and that campaign or that promotion, promotion is a better word, promotion took place in August or September. Um, but I'm very excited. I was nervous that it wasn't going to be in, but it will. And I'm so happy to give her that for Christmas. My mom is not really into, you know, brand name things, but I know that she's gonna appreciate this, especially with it being black owned. And I'm so glad I got the hot pink because she's going to the inauguration, um, CRVP, Kamala, um, and our soror. So I'm so happy that it'll be here and she'll be able to take it to DC with her. Speaking of Kamala, this is her other gift. So cute. It is a, um, it's a Kamala action figure. Got it off of Amazon. Apparently it's a big thing. It's a new thing. There is also a Joe and I'm gonna link it where they can, where you do a package deal and you get Kamala and Joe together. Unfortunately, when I purchased this on um, Cyber Monday, Joe Biden was out. But um, my mom is a prosecutor and she put this in our group text and mentioned that she wanted it for her, um, her office, her work office. So I think she's gonna really love that. So very cute. So this and her tail far back um, will probably will be her major um, Christmas gifts. So moving right along, here I have two books, and it is titled Grandma's um, Journal. And what this is is a it says memories and keepsakes for my grandchild and that's exactly what i purchased it for um i originally purchased this for my mom's mom who was adopted um it's a lot of her life she was adopted at a very young age because her mother was a young mother um so there's a lot about her life a lot of gaps that we have that i would love to fill in um my grandma is a great storyteller and um I don't know I just I've asked her for a while and I think this is a perfect way to get it done because um, it has little fill in the blanks for them so this page says my high school and it asks her questions some of my best friends in high school were my extracurricular activities and hobbies included um, and when it came in I got it off of Amazon it was a bestseller on Amazon when it came in I just I loved it so much I had to buy another one for my other grandmother um, her and I you know we have a good relationship and I know a lot about her life but this book gets so intricate with things that you would never even think to ask them um, so I got it for both of my grandmas I'm really excited to give this to them um, I'm really close to my family you guys will probably see them in a lot of vlogs um, and you know I give them sentimental things my grandparents my parents really everyone I give really sentimental gifts so I'm most excited about this gift um, we'll see how long it takes them to fill it out but um, yeah so that's what I did for my grandma's um, 
for told y'all I like gag gifts. So while I was in Home Goods, I stumbled across a bag of buttered popcorn. You can literally smell it through the bag. Um, so this is my grandma's, one of my grandma's favorite jelly beans. I said butter popcorn, buttered popcorn jelly beans. Um, this is her favorite jelly bean. She loves jelly beans, specifically buttered popcorn. So when I saw a bag strictly buttered popcorn, I had to get it. Um, and right next to it was holiday favorite jelly beans. <laughs> so I'm gonna make her um, try this. It's probably gonna be so disgusting. Um, I'm thinking along with this, I'm probably gonna do like a little bundle and probably get the Bean Boozled game. Um, I'm gonna pop that right here. Um, the Bean Boozled is, you know, if you guys don't know what Bean Boozled is, I'm sure everybody knows by now, but it takes two um, of the same colored looking jelly beans. One will be something gross, like toothpaste flavored, and the other one will be like cool mint flavored, and you don't know which one you're getting when you eat it. Um, so I'm thinking about getting the Bean Boozled game. I think my grandma, my grandma is super silly. So I think she would love that and we could probably play it as a family and I can record that. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do for my grandma. Now, on to my grandpa's. Um, so my biggest blessing, fun fact about me, I always will say that my biggest blessing is having all four of my grandparents still alive, healthy, well, they're kicking it, they're young, they dance, we joke, um, and I'm very close with them. My grandpas have my entire heart. <laughs> I am obsessed with them. Um, and for some reason this Christmas, I am having a hard time finding something um, that I want to give them. Like I said, I give them very sentimental gifts. Um, I could go and buy out, just buy something with their sports team on it, but that's not the type of gift I give my grandpas. Um, so I don't know, I need help on them as well. So give me a little, you know, hint or a little comment, a little suggestion for what I can get them. One, I'm gonna put a picture of my poppy right here. He grew out. <laughs> a beard during quarantine we've ne I've never seen him with that it is the cutest thing so I'm thinking about getting him a beard kit that'll have like washes and um, moisturizers for his beard I think that might be a good gift but I'm not sold on that yet so tell me what you think about that um, I would love to hear what you think uh, my brother my little brother Broderick he is 19 um, and doesn't want anything besides the PS5 that nobody can find. So I'm kinda at a loss for him as well, but not because I don't know what to get him. I can think of things, but with him at his age, I like to get him things that he wants, that he asks for, that he's gonna use. Um, and normally he does a good job at that, but this year he has not given us anything. Um, so I just found something really cute. Um, he's really into his car. He does a lot of custom things on his car, it's wrapped, um, the lights, that he has customized lights in the front of it, he has decals with his Instagram name on it. Um, so I found this on Amazon, just something really, you know, small and cute. It is a light up cup holder um, in your sports team. So I got him Chicago Bears light up cup holders. Mm, come on, focus. I got him light up Chicago Bears cup holders. He's gonna be able to place them into his cup holders and it'll light up matching the lights he already has on the interior of his car. The only thing I will say about this is once I got it and I opened it to check it out, um, I noticed that it came with this USB and I think they have to be plugged in in order to work. And so I don't know how practical that is because who wants to use their USB for some light up cup holders. I don't know. He he probably does. Um, so this is just a little small gift that I found for him. Um, and in addition, I'll probably just get him some clothes, some shoes or something. I try to keep them, you know, I try to keep it swag, try to keep them, you know, nice or whatever. So that's probably the other thing that I'll get him and maybe just give him some money because I ain't, I ain't sweating him. He ain't, I ain't sweating him. So, um, off of that, I 
think that is all the specific gifts I have right now. I did buy these really cute, oops, really cute shot glasses. Um, I got these from Home Goods. Literally, my biggest tip I will say is when you go into Home Goods, it doesn't matter what time of the year it is. If you see something and you and it screams a person, buy it, buy it, buy it. You will never regret buying these little cheap little gadgets. Um, that is a perfect white elephant gift you know christmas parties uh corporate christmas parties just little these little knickknack things you will never regret buying them um so that would be my other tip i don't even know when i purchased that i don't know who i'm gonna give it to but i'm sure someone's gonna come up um so now more so on to a general side um just general ideas things that are just very easy to pick up on obviously Bath and Body Works. <laughs> I was about to say Bed Bath and Beyond. Bath and Body Works. You can't go wrong with Bath and Body Works. Um, buy a candle. Even if the person doesn't like the scent, people love trying new scents. I wouldn't mind. If, it was, if you got me a nasty candle, I would, you know, probably give it away. But I love being able to smell different things. Um, so it, that's always going to be a hit. The only thing I will say is... With the social climate that we're in right now, um, a lot of people are focusing on buying black. Um, I definitely support the movement of buying black, buying local. Um, and so there are quite a few black owned small businesses, small candle businesses. Um, I will link and tag the ones that I know of and have heard good things about. Um, top one is Aroma Bin. I have been trying to get my hands on an aroma bean candle for a minute, so gift idea for me um, <laughs> if you're watching this. But I love, you know, everything, the branding, the packaging. Um, I have not seen one bad review about that brand. Um, so yeah, there's, I'm going to tag those below, but a good Bath and Body Works never hurts either. Um, on to more generalized things like that makeup 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 for women makeup brushes i don't care i don't put it on my list but i almost wait every year for christmas to get to totally toss out all my brushes and my sponges and get new ones um and then makeup as a whole also following buying black um fenty beauty is you know just perfect the chef eyeshadow that i have on right now is um out of the rose losing my words out of the rose <laughs> i don't know eyeshadow palette out of the rose palette of fenty beauty i love it it's so pigmented it's perfect i've heard so uh, many great things about the fenty beauty makeup line um my current foundation and pressed powder is milani beauty that is literally a walmart brand um black owned for black women um and then you have the kylie jenner's and the uh kkw by kim kardashian um those brands are also great so makeup bath and body works nails 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 i almost forgot um the new trend the new fad is to do your own nails at home um so if you know of someone who loves nails love to get their nails done i'm currently wearing um the gel x nails by Opre. Um, Opre, Opre. Um, stay tuned. My next video will actually be a nail review, a product review on that. But it is a Gel X kit. I did this myself at home. Um, there's also press on nails and there is um, stick on, like the little sticker that you put on your real nails. Um, so look, in the, look, look into those different options. Uh, also, if you know someone that goes to a nail salon and they go every two weeks or they go religiously go to their nail salon and get them a gift card, I promise you, you cannot go wrong with that. And while we're talking on gift cards, try to get something that is personal to that person that you're purchasing for. Um, so what I mean by that is you can get anybody a Chili's gift card, right? You can get anybody a Chick-fil-A gift card. Um, but for me, in my local hometown, I eat at a restaurant called Bon Creole. Um, small family business owned. If someone got me a gift card from Bon Creole, that would make, wow, they know me, you know? Um, so just, you know, little things like that can make everything personalized. I believe in being very personal with gifts. Um, 
Let me think, let me think. Oh, no, last thing, big thing, jewelry. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Obviously, every kiss begins with K. Um, but there is a great brand on Amazon that I have fallen in love with. Um, it's Mia Bella um, Jewelry. I just learned that they actually have male jewelry as well. So, if you want to get a nice chain for a male in your life, um, they do have that. So, Mia Bella, this is a Mia Bella chain. Um, I do have a silver Mia Bella chain as well. These earrings are not Mia Bella, but they also are Amazon. Um, I can link them all below, but this is what we're really into right now as women. You know, the stackable rings, the stackable jewelry. Um, you know, little, really cute, little dainty things. Um, okay. All right, maybe not. So, jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Um, and also, of course, I couldn't find it when I needed to record the video, but if you have people in your life, I have friends who are in nursing school, I'm in law school, and a lot of my friends are in law school. Um, it would be very cute uh, to get them a chain or a charm, a charm bracelet that is that speaks to what they're doing. Um, I have a, I'm going to put a picture of it here because of course I couldn't find it tonight but I have a scales of justice next necklace um that I love I am in love with it um I hope you guys like the video I hope I gave you something you know I hope I gave you a great idea if I did please comment it below let me know that I actually did help you um that's all I have this time guys please like comment subscribe share 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 um this is my first video uh i hope you guys are ready for more um turn on your notifications it's gonna be a journey you know but i'm here to keep it real we're gonna keep it real we're gonna keep it trill <laughs> and i'm still lame and um i'm excited i'm excited to be here with y'all so thank you so much for tuning in god bless and merry christmas